Before we get started, let's put some gloves and a bottle on our hands for studio safety. Hi, I'm Mike Rooney. Today's free art lesson is going to be on making a color chart. Now this is going to be a specific color chart. You've heard of making all these color charts and putting blue and yellow, but this one's going to be specific to your palette. So let me show you how to do it. We'll go over here to the easel and I'll show you a good way to uh, find out how all your colors react with other colors that you have on your palette. Uh, you should do this one day when you're not really feeling up to painting. You don't want to go out and tackle this big painting. You want to get, you know, get your brush in some paint, but you don't want to have to think too much. This is a great exercise for, for figuring out, you know, for instance, how's your Naples yellow going to react with magenta? What kind of tones and, and colors and hues can you make with it? So what you do is you just go to the studio, you know, put your little jazz or blues on there, and you draw you a couple circles. And we're going to start with uh, magenta because I always draw in magenta for some reason. But we're going to draw a circle in the middle. We're going to draw concentric bullseyes out away from that. So we don't have them running off the page. Okay, so here, here's going to be the target color. Now you can do this on watercolor paper, you know, sheets of watercolor paper, and post them in your studio. This particular uh, exercise is going to be how does magenta react with everything else on my palette and as you see I've got magenta I use Naples yellow a couple different yellows cadmium red sky blue ultramarine blue orange uh, sap green that's cadmium orange sap green and ultramarine violet now I'm gonna I'm gonna act like I haven't done this before and I'm thinking I wonder what color my magenta is gonna make with say Naples yellow so what you do is you put the nap or you put the uh, magenta right here it's the target color so you put it up there so you know what your which one you're trying to play with and you do this for each of your colors so here you go, you got your little magenta up there. Now what you do is you put some right here and right here, okay. Then we're going to take uh, a different brush, use a different brush, and put some Naples yellow very slowly into this magenta and stroke it back and forth and finish out the circle. Now that's the color you get when it's just a little bit of Naples yellow. What happens if I go, you know, uh, let's go with a whole lot of magenta and just, I want to make these circles a little bit bigger. Look at this nice color that I get when I mix magenta and orange. I get a really cool, uh, not cool, I get a really warm, I meant awesome uh, flesh tone. I could add some white to that. And, and have a really nice flesh tone. And that's the thing you do next, you add a little white to it. So you take it on one side of it and you lighten one side to see what it's going to look like if you stroke some white into it. So now you know what it makes here with more yellow in it and it makes a nice flesh tone. Okay. Then usually what I do is I go over and I make a complement. I, I see what the complement of red will make. So I go over there and I say well, this is, this is orange, so I'm going to see it's kind of blending towards orange. I'm going to take it mix it again right here. So I'm going to take magenta here. I'm going to take the, or I mean the Naples yellow and make that orange again. Okay. Then I'm going to add, what is the, what's the complement? It's kind of got a reddish orange tint. So what happens if I, let's say if I stroke in a little bit of green? Because green is kind of the complement of that right there. Let's see what I get when I stroke in the complement. So look what I look what I get. I get a neat. It's really cool uh, gray. You know what I mean? It's a gray, but it's like super reddy orange. So again, good for flesh tones. Hey, I didn't know that. That's awesome. I can use that next time. Now let's take it and do the same thing all the way around, and let's see what magenta does with my cadmium yellow so I put that up there put some there I put some right there and some right there let's go ahead and mix it a little bit quicker and we're gonna put cadmium yellow in on it now 
So let's see what cadmium yellow does. Because cadmium yellow is going to look different than that first one. Look at the huge difference between when I add the same amount there and the same amount there. And then I come over and do the same thing here. Try to get them, you know, try to get one a little bit more. You know, I want to see what it does. So I see right there that Naples yellow gives you this really toned down, fleshy color with magenta, but, but cadmium yellow gives you these nice, fiery, orange-red uh, colors, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to take those, and I'm going to add what's the opposite of orange is blue. So I'm going to add just a little bit of blue to it to see what happens when I put some blue in it. Put a little bit too much blue in it. Let's get rid of some of that blue toned it down too much. Okay. And we take a little, let's put a little more color in there and get bring that back up. But look what happens. You get this nice burnt orange color. Okay. So then you can do the same thing all the way around. Let's do maybe one or two more. Let's do a dark color. What happens when we do magenta? I love this because I already know what it's going to do. You come around here, you just work your way all the way around your palette. So let's say that you finish this thing, you post it up in your studio and you're looking at something and, and you're saying, man, I need a really uh, a certain shade of burnt orange. You can look up on your chart and see the exact burnt orange you're looking for that you can tweak a little bit and it tells you how you got it. Because you're going, you're going with the with the magenta. You add the cadmium yellow. Because you're going around your palette. So I know this is Naples yellow. That's cadmium yellow. So I know I can get that burnt umber by mixing this with cadmium yellow and then putting the complement in it. So it's you, you, you can find your own color that you need out there. So we're going to do uh, magenta here, magenta here, magenta here, and let's do blue. And then you guys make one at home because I tell you these things are invaluable, especially when you're like you want to mess around, you want to paint stuff, and 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 do your continuing education. You don't feel like painting anything that day. This is a great way to like stay loose and and paint and learn about your paints. Because remember now, these paints are like music, you know, musical notes to a musician. He has to know where the keys are and what happens if he presses these keys and what happens if his hands on this part of the fretboard. We as as artists use colors as our as our instrument. So if we don't know our instrument, we're not going to be able to make very good music. So I'm going to take purple and see what happens when I mix purple a little bit into it. I get a beautiful ultraviolet, like like an it's almost a really violet, but it's very bright, really bright. So I'm going to do that. Add a little bit more down here. I can make it a little bit cooler, but it's still a really nice purple. I say cool a lot, and I don't mean cool in temperature. I mean awesome cool. All right, then we're going to take this, and we're going to say, what's the opposite of purple? The opposite of purple is yellow. So what happens if I put a little bit of purple's complement in there? What, what will I get? And I stroke it around a little bit. And I get this grayed down color right there, which is nice and warm. And if I want to cool it down even more, I can put more purple in it. But that's a really neat burnt red. So that's, that's good to know. And the reason is, is because my purple is mostly ultramarine violet. So it's got a lot of red in it. So that's why it's picking up the red down here. It doesn't look too red right there, but this adding that complement brings out the red in the ultramarine violet. So you do that all the way around the color wheel and, and find out, like here's one I did already, you know, find out what happens. It's really neat to look and see. Look at all these pinky flesh tones and all that. This is really great that when you mix green you get that really dark, cool green right there. So uh, here's the one I use for magenta. I hope that helps you out. I hope it helps you paint better. I hope it helps you get better color. If you'd like to see more about me, you can go on the internet and find me at mikerooneystudios.blogspot.com. Thank you.